It's R and R in the morning. You're on San Antonio Sports Star. And what an appropriate term. He's Rudy J. I'm Rob Thompson. San Antonio <laughs> Sports Star. We got one on the loan right now. Golden Boy Promotions. They named it after him because it's his company. Oscar De La Hoya joins us here on San Antonio Sports Star. Welcome aboard, sir. We're glad you're in our great city, and we're glad the fight is going to be here on Saturday night. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. It's really nice to be here. Um, brings back a lot of uh, great memories. Oscar, you know, when you bring you talk about bringing back great memories, I think San Antonio proudly calls, calls ourselves one of the better fight towns in, in the United States. And we had uh, Freddie Roach on yesterday in preparation for the fight. He brought up something I'm interested in. He said he loves coming to San Antonio. He loves coming to Texas because the commission is one that he likes. That They're very fair-minded. When you, as a promoter, when you consider where you're landing fights, does the, how much of a role does the commission play in the decision-making process? Sure. I mean, the, the commission plays a big role. Um, they're, they're fair. Uh, one, of the, one of the best commissions in, in, in the country uh, today, uh, next to uh, Nevada. Um, next to California, so uh, it's always a pleasure working with the uh, with the Texas Commission here. And uh, but most importantly, I mean the fans, the fans uh, uh, here in San Antonio are incredible. Um, I remember promoting uh, uh, Canelo versus Trout. Oh yeah, at yeah. the Alamo Dome back in the day, and I mean then they just showed up like there's no tomorrow. So uh, now we have Ryan Garcia on Saturday, and he's our next biggest star, and uh, you know we have over twenty something thousand tickets sold already. So the people love their boxing. They know their boxing. They're very knowledgeable about boxing. So uh, it's always a fun town to uh, to visit and uh, stage, stage the biggest fights. How is Ryan doing? You know, he took the break for his mental health. I mean, yeah. it, it's it's become one of those things where we kind of realizing that athletes, you know, just because you got a lot of money doesn't mean everything is okay. Sure. How How is Ryan doing coming into this fight mentally? He's, uh, he's solid. He's, he's, uh, you know, I've been visiting him, uh, um, uh, in training camp, uh, in San Diego where he trains and he looks, uh, he looks, uh, ready to go. Um, he, uh, you know, I, I feel he didn't need that break. Um, you know, uh, having that popularity right. uh, at such an early age and, and, uh, you know, he, I mean, for he doesn't have a world title for crying out loud. And he's probably the, one of the most popular fighters, <laughs> uh, yeah. on the planet today. Um, you know, he has, he has it all. Um, and, uh, it was probably a little overwhelming for him at times and he took a break and, uh, I think that was the best thing he can ever do. Um, he, he, he tells me he has a, a great foundation now. He, he's solid, uh, and, and ready to go. You know, when we talk about Ryan and, and this is a broad stretch and I, I certainly don't mean to give him more credit than he's due, but does, do you see him? Do you see any of him and you, does it remind you of you? Um, yeah, he actually does. He actually does. Um, you know, he, look, he has the charisma, he has right. the skill. Um, you know, he, uh, the only thing he's lacking is the gold medal. Uh, <laughs> well, the, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a huge step. I don't want to put him in your grounds yeah. at all, but I do see he, he has the look and feel of an Oscar that could be yeah. around for a long, long time. Yeah, he's a young kid. He just turned 23. Um, uh, he has a, a very bright future um, and, and he's hungry. I think that's the most important uh, part about being a fighter is that you have to stay hungry. He comes from, uh, you know, uh, uh, very humble beginnings. Um, he's a hard worker. Uh, and so, so I'm, I, I'm glad that, that, you know, I, I don't wish it upon anybody, but I'm glad kind of that this happened to him because now, now he's, 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 he's just, he's solid and he's got a great foundation uh, and, uh, and he's ready to go. He wants to take on the world and take on the very best. And, uh, this comeback fight with uh, with Togo on Saturday night is not going to be an easy one. No, no. Um, but uh, but it's going to be a big test for him. So uh, we're we're crossing our fingers. And, and and piggybacking on him saying he's kind of like you, Oscar. I think the the only way for him to get there, and we got to you only can do one fight at a time. But you yeah. got in front of every killer. So if he's going to be you, he's got to fight every 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 killer out there. Because if there was somebody exactly. that that was supposed to be the guy. You got in front of him, and I think yeah. that's that's what it's gonna have to be for Ryan. Right? No, exactly. I agree a thousand percent. And um, like you said, yeah, it's one fight at a time. I think um, I think you know having having to be uh, you know out of the ring for fifteen months uh, 
it's a big deal for a fighter. Right. Um, you know, you, 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 you don't trust your timing. Um, you, you know, you, you're, you're the, the, the timing on the punches, uh, you know, the first three, four or five rounds, you're going to be questioning yourself over and over again. Right. So, uh, this is a difficult fight. Um, if he gets past this one, then sky's the limit. I mean, there's fighters like Tank Davis out there mm-hmm. um, um, who who would be a, I mean would be a fantastic. Fight. Yes, we want um, that, don't know. we? Yeah, absolutely. And and you know, so it's it's uh, it's interesting because uh, uh, there's a lot of rumbling uh, um, um, in, in the boxing world where uh, Tank Davis uh, is is about to uh, to uh, leave uh, Mayweather promotion. Really. Which, which, which is interesting because, you know, I, I thought Mayweather was doing a phenomenal job uh, with Tank Davis. He Me got too. him to the world title. Yeah, he did an excellent, excellent job. I would have actually preferred to negotiate with Floyd Mayweather and make this fight happen. But now, now that Tank Davis is, uh, is, uh, is going somewhere else, maybe the fight can be made easier. So who knows? But, uh, you know, I think I think that's the fight to make next. Mark the tape, James. We're joined by Oscar De La Hoya promoting the fight, the Golden Boy Productions in San Antonio. Now, the Ryan Garcia fight is huge. We're excited to see him back, but this isn't it. Marlon Esparza is going to be taking on Fujioka on a co-main yeah. event. That's going to be extraordinary. Right. You know, when you're yeah. curating about Oscar, when you put together the card, and you're looking for all those different fights. How much do you pay attention to the the weight classes and guys that are coming right. to the markets? Because it seems you put together a match that is really fitting what San Antonio chases. Yeah, we try to we try to uh, you know saturate the card with uh, with with local talent. Um, you know, we 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 take a look at fighters. Uh, um, you know, on Saturday night it'll be it'll be a, a scouting fest. Um, you know, we 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 want to make sure that boxing stays alive and well here in San Antonio and Texas. We have a few uh, long, young local kids who are who are uh, supposed to be the next big thing. So I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, the co-main event with uh, with Shane Mosley's uh, son <laughs> um, uh, fighting uh, Rosado. Uh, Gabe Rosado, yeah. which is going to be a war. I, I just I can't wait for that one. But Marlena Sparza as well, fighting for another world title. It's it's gonna be a fun night. Um, I have this kid from Dallas, uh, Tristan, who uh, is a, a light heavyweight, amazing, amazing fighter. Um, all the talent in the world fights like uh, Thomas Hearns. Great, wow. great talent. I'm looking forward to that one. So uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be a lot of fun. Well, the other thing I want to ask you, Oscar, do you do you feel like UFC? Do you feel any threat to them at all, or is boxing always just going to be the dominant sport when we talk about hand-to-hand combat? Because there's a lot of talk about it because boxing doesn't always give us the fight that we want right then and there, that this is why UFC is on their heels. Do you buy into any of that? No, I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. You know, into any of that. Look, boxing is always going to be boxing. I mean, when 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 the big fights get made, people watch. That's the bottom line. I mean, I wish I wish the big fights would get made quicker and right. and, and and you know, um, uh, um, and more often. But uh, but look, there's there's so much talent in boxing. Boxing is everywhere now uh, on every major network television. Um, you know, pay per views are soaring. The subscriptions are amazing. So, boxing is doing. It's it's always been great, alive and well. And um, you know, it's a sport that uh, that well that will always survive as long as we continue making the big major fights. You're right. You know, it's uh, uh, boxing will be around. Oscar De La Hoya joining us here on San Antonio Sports Star. I want to stay on this vein real quick and. The, the idea of what boxing is and the big events is still selling tickets. And, and you, you look at this, the staged fights, the, the not pro fights, but the, uh, the exhibitions, as it were, the Jake yeah. Paul kind of things. Uh, mm-hmm. Talk to us about the effect, the Jake Paul effect on boxing. And as a purist, what do you, at the, you know, in the, in, the, in the depths of your soul, what do you really believe about Jake Paul in this type? It helps the sport, I think, but at the end of the day, and we lose some credibility, don't we? No, I mean, look. I, I, in the beginning, uh, I was I was a bit skeptical, um, um, you know, uh, 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 about what he was trying to do or accomplish. But as I as I as I kept watching his fights, um, you know, and and he's only had a handful of fights. He's actually taking this serious, mm-hmm. and he was actually a fighter in the past. 
and he's getting better and better and better. So I, I, I have to respect that. I have to respect the fact that he's hustling. He's going out there and really doing the work and training and going to camp for two months at a time. And so that's, that it's very admirable and I can see his, his potential. Um, um, you know, I was a big skeptic uh, in, in, in the beginning, but I think, I think that he's doing a great thing. He's, he's attracting younger eyeballs to the sport. Um, you know, uh, he has a huge following and, uh, you know, I think, I think he's doing great for boxing. Uh, and, uh, you know, as long as he continues to want to learn, as long as he continues to take it, serious mm-hmm. and uh and he's he's actually he's actually doing pretty well for himself oscar de la hoya right here on san antonio sports star the fight is saturday it's down at the dome we host a good party you need to be there now we got tickets to give away but you got to go buy them to get there ticketmaster.com is where you want to go huge fight we're talking about ryan garcia and to go but let me tell you undercard with sugar shane jr and rosada this is going to be a war you got champions all around they're coming to san antonio let's support the fight game because they're supporting us oscar thank you so much for stopping by we're honored to host the fight and we're glad you're here you got it thank you very much Oscar De La Hoya, the golden boy right here on San Antonio Sports Star.